Pontiac G8 headliner removal. A lot of uh, G8 owners talk about the headliner sagging. I didn't think I was a victim of it, but apparently I was. I am. So I had to remove the whole headliner. Um, this is what it looks like underneath. Um, a lot of times they sag because, see, this has like Velcro. And this goes to the headliner. Obviously, it sat here, so it, it got disconnected from the headliner. And then it attaches to this, and that's how it stays up. That's how the whole thing pretty much is when it connects to here. Obviously, when it, it hooks over there, it's it, these, you know, the corners are well secured because the, the seat pillars are there or whatever. You know, like that one, it tucks in there, so it stays in there. And then in the back, the grab handles kind of hold it in place. And then right here, the, the two clips that go right here, that kind of holds it in place. But right here in the sunroof area, it's only held up by, you know, cheap Velcro. And as you can see, it came apart. So I'm going to have to glue that and make sure it's nice and good. I'm going to have to buy some new Velcro for this because... I don't know what the hell this shit is, but... Oh, this is double side tape for the Velcro, which I know where it's at. So anyways, I decided to go with uh, some suede um, headliner material. So I'm going to have to take off this sunroof. I don't know if you guys know how to take this off, but it's not that hard. Um, I'm lucky because I have another sunroof. And um, basically it's removing this panel right here and then it's all held up by clips and stuff it's not as it looks hard but it isn't um it's just you have to take off the sunroof and i think that's the hardest part but it's not really hard because all it has is these 10 millimeter like 15 of these screws and then you take them all off and the thing comes down and then these are the you know the hoses where if it gets wet it drains uh, drain hoses so anyways, that's what it looks like if you guys got a sunroof uh, and your sunroof is sagging. It's most likely due to this Velcro BS stuff that they got going on. Um, I just held this because I didn't want it to be hanging. So I got the, you know, the sunroof um, control, um, the knob. And another thing to note is, see all of this glue? Uh, that is basically glued on to the, to the headliner. So you got to, like, pull all that stuff off. And now that I'm going to install the headliner, I'm going to have to glue it all back together. So it, that was, I think, the most pain in the ass because you got this thing hanging. You want to pull it out, and now you got all these wires that are, like, stuck on there. So... Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but you got to remove the seat. That's what I read on one of the forums. You got to remove the seat, and it, it barely fits through the right side window. So you got to remove the seat, and the seat's really easy to take off. There's nothing to it. This is a, a suede headliner that I'm going to put on there. Um, it looks kind of uh, faded or whatever, but... Not at all, it looks really nice. Um, so I think in the future or, you know, sometime after I'm done with this, I'm gonna actually, you know, um, cover these with uh, the suede uh, material also, but not today. Today I'm just gonna install that and be done with it. But, and then eventually I gotta get to you know, doing these, which is a pain in that. I don't know if it's going to be easy to do, but it looks like it's sewn right there. So I might take it to a shop and let them do it. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. I got plenty of material. So this is the headliner material. I mean, the headliner itself. And, um, you know, the reason why I have another sunroof is because I was driving on the freeway and somebody decided to throw a rock and it landed right on my sunroof and it shattered. 
That was like maybe a year after I bought it. So I had to buy a used one. That's why I have an extra sunroof laying around. But um, which it came in handy this time because I was able to, I'm able to plan how am I going to take off that sunshade. And um, it's not that hard. Um, so anyways, this is the headliner. Nothing to it. But I'll show you guys where I glued some of the stuff. See that? I put glue right there because it, it rips easy. You know what I mean? So it's you can see right there and a little bit right there. But the most part where it kind of rips is there and there. And uh, I had my roof wrapped and the knuckleheads that decided to do it pulled on my um on my headliner kind of too hard and uh to remove the antenna so they can wrap it right and they did this number they ripped it so right now i'm gluing it i did it on both sides yesterday i did the the opposite side of this so and the glue that i'm using is goop it's this household i bought at ace hardware goop um i've used this on a ton of things and what i like about it is it gets it's like silicone when you install it it's kind of like a silicone type but then it gets hard and if you need to remove it, it you know it doesn't remove as easy as silicone but it's it will come off it takes a lot of tugging and pulling but it comes off and that's on plastic and um i did this i use this for to cover up the holes on my hid uh dust caps on my front headlights and that works good i've used it on that car for the rims for the center caps um i've glued them inside so that um so they don't pop off because you know with aftermarket wheels sometimes if you have that center cap either people steal them or they pop off and then you having to go look for just the center the center cap and then they don't make the rim no more and then they want like 50 60 dollars for one little center cap so all i did was i every time i get my um, tires uh, balanced i basically remove it the cap and then glue it back on there and then stuff the center cap in there and then i don't have to remove it until i get them balanced again so uh, that's how i've been able to have all my center caps on my car because i lost one and uh it was a pain in the ass to find it so i figured i'd just do this and be done with it and so far, six years later, actually eight years later, I haven't missed a single cap. So anyways, I'm waiting for that to um, dry. And the, and this one kind of dries up pretty quick, maybe about 30 minutes to a, an hour. or It starts to get hard immediately. Uh, not, not immediately, but I would say within like 10, 15 minutes, you can start. It's not gooey anymore. It's It's starting to get hard and within half an hour and it's flexible it's not hard or anything like that it flexes so this part is still gonna flex but at least it won't come apart you know so I've never used it on a headliner so I'm hoping that it's as great as all the other shit I've used it on um, and it's never let me down so I'm pretty sure you know it'll be okay this is a sunroof Velcro that I was talking about. See, it has that on the, you know, on the sunroof part of it. And these two strips that I took them, I guess they ripped off, but I have to put them back in there. But anyways, this is the sunshade I'm trying to take off. And I'll give you guys an idea of how to do it. Um, let me just flip it around. All right. So basically, you got to remove push this up and it unclips from there and the same thing for the other side this is what's actually stopping the sunroof shade from coming all the way out so that is one portion of it and then it has these stops right here i don't know if you can see right there 
where the sunroof shade doesn't go any further um, so you got to remove this thing and once you remove these two and just pop it out it'll slide all the way back but then you see this part of lip or whatever it goes and then it gets stuck right here so pretty much it, it won't come off after that and if that if if this piece doesn't come off then this will not either so basically what you do is i don't know if you guys could tell but once this reaches the end you can see there's a clip there and a clip there kind of keeping it in place and you just basically you know push the clip to the side and pop it out in an angle and when you do that it comes apart from here and there and then you just take it out and then you're able to slide this all the way and then get a get a Phillips or a star remove that and it'll slide all the way out and then now you guys could um, put headliner material on that so that's what I plan to do uh, I should be done in a few hours um, this is the old headliner it's just crap cheap my my Grand Prix the one that's outside with the rims the headliner on that thing is perfectly fine you know and it's a 98 and this shit is a 2008 like what's up and I live in California so you know they both get enough Sun as you can see right now it's sunny as hell and uh, that headliner is perfectly fine and this one is all screwed up but anyways they don't make cars like they used to um, so there you go hopefully this video helps you guys out if you guys want to uh, you know install new headliner yourself it's not that difficult um, one thing to note um, it's preferred if you don't take this out because it basically um, holds itself from there so it's not as easy as just pulling it out and that's it it doesn't slide out it's being held i'll show you on the other one but uh i yanked it out and now to put it back in it's gonna be not a pain in the ass i'm gonna have to take off that stupid cover right there um but the headliner comes out where you just removing this a little bit you know what i mean you don't have to actually take it out of the the section or whatever um and I'll show you why I'm telling you not to just leave them hanging like this. You don't have to actually pull them out. And I found that out after I pulled it out. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. This little piece right there. That tucks in into that little vent for the AC or the heater. And, you know, it, it doesn't... You would think, okay, just pull it out, right? No, but it's being held in by that somewhat. So sticking that back in there is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but whatever. You know, if I, I recommend uh, you guys don't take that out. Um, now, the back ones are easy. That one is the way I would think it was supposed to be. These just... You know, they held on by one or uh, one screw and one retainer, and they slide out and they slide back in. No big deal. And I, that's how I thought the front ones were, but they're not. And this isn't my first time doing this. I've taken out those pillars before because I've done other shit to the car. So I guess I should have known better, but I forgot. And also, be careful with this with the headliner because you can break these tabs right here and um, if you do that then this is going to be hanging and it's not going to be that great so it's held in by three screws and then that little clip right there which mine came off not easy but it came off without breaking anything so I'm happy for that but anyways uh and then the glue that I'm using for the headliner 
a lot of people say use um, 3M Super 77. I use this one on my truck, and I, this is the wrong one, but I guess there's a better one of Super 77, and uh, it started to sag on my truck. So the one that the headliner material people gave me is this guy right here. Spray away, fast tack, 92, high temp, heavy duty trim. Um, that's what they gave me. They said one, one of these cans will.